Hey guys, John, your president here, and uh, we're getting close. We're getting real close. Yeah, I, I know you see the the dues graph out there at the front entrance now, but we're really getting close to that other goal. Didn't really want to do it, but we're almost there. I'd give it about two more weeks, two more, two three more weeks, and the pond on the uh, south side will be totally full with algae and um, just a disaster. If we wait another two months, the pond on the north side will look pretty much the same. So if we keep it up and we don't get dues checks coming in, both ponds in about three months will be totally full of algae. Problem is we don't have um, an algae side in the budget that's going to cost us three, four hundred dollars. I've figured out the solution to that though. There is a solution. The solution is we've got possibly $36,000 available in the neighborhood. The only problem is it's still in your wallets. Yep. 240 homes times $150 gives us $36,000. So we've got the solution to the problem problem is the money's still in your pocket. Um, I'm going to wait about 10 seconds. You can look at the top of the screen and you can double click on the um, a link to take you to the newsletter, print it up, and um, grab a pen right now while I'm waiting. Write out that check and we'll be good to go. Should we do some Jeopardy music or what? Hmm. Don't have any. Okay. All right. Let let let's let's move on. Um, we got some good news. Um, there's some people in the neighborhood that are actually stepping up. Real real good news here. We've got some new blood that wants to help out with the board. We've got Michael Spoto who volunteered to be VP. Awesome. And we've got Marsha Marsha Kiltz um, volunteered to become secretary. They came over last week. They had some concerns and um, just just about making the neighborhood a better place and, and getting people to pay their dues. And I told them the problems that we've been having, just trying to um, get a grassroots thing here together to get people to pay their dues. So they filled those two positions. I'm really excited about it. We've got some fresh blood. We are going to start a campaign. We're going to try to fill the other vacancies for the um, neighborhood reps. We're going to start a campaign where in a couple weeks we're going to go out to every house and just say, hey, you know, you haven't paid your dues yet. Is there any reason you don't pay your dues? I mean, we're going to try to like, like get a voice from the neighborhood, like, you know, how come people don't pay their dues? We're trying to do the best we can with the money we have. Um, I know that I, I've been thinking about a couple things. There's a lot of older people in Unit 1 and Unit 2. And, and you know, we really, to you guys out there, we didn't need dues six and seven years ago. We didn't really have much to maintain. We had an Oktoberfest, we bought a tent, and that was about it. But to all you old timers in there that think, ah, we don't need the money, we never needed it before, guess what? I need you to look at our yearly expenses. $16,000 now compared to like 1000 Those pumps at the front entrance cost us $7,000 worth of electricity a year. To maintain that whole front entrance in the island now is costing us six thousand dollars a year. There's thirteen thousand right there. So for you, for you old timers that think, ah, uh, we know, what do they need the dues for? We need the dues. Um, moving on now, um, I've attached or I'm going to attach a letter to the website from Mike, our new vice president. He's got some thoughts and ideas that he put in a letter, and. I encourage you to read it. Um, Marsha, she just started a new Facebook page. So we've got a Twin Branch Acres Facebook page where we can um, post ideas. People that want to get together can get together. Great idea, Marsha. I love it. I'm going to put a link on the website for that too. I've also updated everything on the website. I know people were complaining that there were dead links and email addresses that were dead. Well, I've cleaned all that up, cleaned up the old blog. And everything on there is up to date and new. So, um, but there's no dues payers list yet. There is not a dues payers list yet. 
Paul made a graph, put it at the front entrance, and next week he's going to put together uh, a chart of who's paid their dues so far, and we're going to keep that updated now. Um, we've got it in Excel form and we're going to keep it updated. People have been asking about a directory. We are going to go around to all the houses in the neighborhood. I know that on the dues check we've got a little thing at the bottom to put your email address to add an address email to add to the directory but when we're only getting 38 percent of the people paying the dues it's a pretty poor directory. So we're going to have people going around and just getting email addresses and telephone numbers so we can put a real directory together with all the houses in the neighborhood. That's coming too. Um, lastly, Fall Fest, October Fest, it's right around the corner. We're going to have a meeting in a couple weeks. We want to make it the best October Fest we've ever had. Of course, again, we need your dues checks. You know, f four dues checks, $600, takes care of all the food, takes care of uh, the bouncy, Come on, guys, dig into your pockets, take out $150, mail it out, and we can make this place a better place to live. Hey, if everybody paid their dues, we probably wouldn't even have to charge for food at the Oktoberfest. Good thought. A lot of people were complaining, why do we have to pay for food? We have to pay for food because it's not in the budget because people just aren't sending their money in. So let's see if I've got any else, anything else right here. Um, that's about it. Oh, one more thing. What was it? Um, come on, Shay. We don't want to bore the people here. Um, oh, I've got $500 worth of plants coming in to plant around that pond on the south where all the algae is. Before that is planted, we need to clean the algae out. Uh, Jason Kilt said he could bring his boat around and a couple guys could get in it and we could just rake the stuff out and we need to I've got the chemical to spray the torpedo grass again we need to get that out and we're going to need some volunteers in about three weeks I'll give you a date on the Facebook page and on the website for um, when it's going to be it'll probably take an hour so uh, signing off from TBA your president John